Hi guys, so this is Raja and in this video we're gonna be reacting, sorry not reacting, we'll be doing a short review on the movie Beast or Raw. It is now right now available in Netflix. So for those of you who haven't had their Netflix subscription, now is probably a good time for you to subscribe to Netflix because you have this amazing movie of Beast. Now, uh, Beast is also translated into a few different languages. I saw it in Hindi as the title Raw because I understand Hindi way better than the other language. You have it in Kannada, you have it in Telugu, you have it, the original I think also is there in Tamil. And uh, you can watch it in any language that you prefer. Subtitles are provided in Netflix. The movie revolves around Agent Veer Raghav, starring by, acted by uh, Vijay, Talapati Vijay, in which he is in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as a raw agent, as a secret agent, like the Indian James Bond, okay? So he's hiding in uh, Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as a secret agent in which he is supposed to be getting information about a super terrorist called Umar Farooq. Now, I don't know who Omar Farrar is acted by, but he looks really scary like the head of the terrorist. Now, uh, Umar Farrar was supposed to be moved back to somewhere. He was going somewhere else for hiding and uh, Agent V. Raghav was supposed to catch him. The Indian government, already Indian army base, already specifically told Agent V. Raghav or Talapati Vijay about the mission, but no. He does not follow the Indian army. He follows to what he wants to do. He's a very dangerous man. And the trailer also is said that he's a notorious spy. So he came and he saved the day. He caught Umar Farooq. But the problem was there was a single casualty. There was a small girl who died in the process. Now Talapati Vijay or Agent V. Raghav actually took that loss very personal. He took it very personally. And then once he goes back to India le leading a normal life, he couldn't lead a normal life anymore. He was so stressed because of that small girl in which he had to go to see a psychiatrist. Now, this is quite funny because the psychiatrist was too stressed seeing uh, Viragav coming up every single day with the same problem. The psychiatrist took Veer to a wedding in Delhi. Now, I mean to say, who does that? Which doctor actually brings their patient for a family wedding or some wedding in some other city? Doesn't happen in real life, but this is quite funny. This is where he actually meets Pooja Hegre. Now again, I forgot Pooja's name in the movie, but Pooja Hegre was there and she seduced him or what's the word? Uh, she seduced him basically. Okay, so she seduced Pooja, uh, Pooja seduced Talapati Vijay and uh, Pooja gave Talapati Vijay a job in her security company. So Pooja works for a security company and Talapati Vijay starts working with Pooja in her company. They went to the mall for some work and that's where the story starts. The mall got hijacked. The mall was hijacked by, actually orchestrated by the home minister who wanted to be the Pradhan Mantri. So it's an internal political thing. The elections was coming in the next three months, so the Home Minister wanted to compete for the Pradhan Mantri role and uh, the Home Minister actually technically kidnapped the whole mall. But one thing he did not plan was that they had the Indian James Bond, the most notorious spy in the building, which is Virag. In short, we killed everybody or almost everybody, the terrorists in the mall using various techniques and just spy moves and Mm, must okay it was just awesome so we saved the day we uh, helped everyone escape from the mall but then one thing happened was that Umar Farooq escaped from the uh, Indian prison because that was the collateral they kidnapped the mall asking for Umar Farooq to be released Umar Farooq was released and Talapati Vijay being very angry right now he comes to Kashmir Pakistan occupied Kashmir and kidnapped Umar Farooq without the authorization of the Indian government. Save the day, brought Umar Farooq back, save the day and that's the end of the movie. And at the end of the movie, we have the Jolly O Jim Khanna song, which is a fun song. It's not like uh, Halamiti Habibo, where it was more romantic. Uh, Jolly O Jim Khanna was a more fun song. 
both the songs there's only i think two songs in the whole movie very fun both the songs are really fun and we have reacted to halamati habibo which you can check out in our description or somewhere in our channel in short should you watch this movie i would personally say it's a nice movie story is a bit okay nothing too extraordinary but talapati vijay's acting was just mind blowing his face his how 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 can you be so cool like so calm composed facing all the terrorist i'm pretty sure he must have killed around 50 to 100 people terrorist in the whole entire movie and he killed them all all of them with such class and style so i've got comments we've got comments from you saying that beast is not one of talapati's best movies i can't say whether it was his best movies or not because it is our first talapati vijay's movie the next movie we would like to watch is master i feel i've got also a lot of comments asking us to watch master i would like to watch master i've heard a lot of my friends telling me to watch master so we would like to watch master next but let us what you know if you have seen the movie you can help us also in the comment section down below if we have missed some specific parts or some important parts of the movie in short it was a fun entertaining movie and made me fall in love with two important characters of the movie talapati vijay and pooja hegre we hope to see you in our next videos keep smiling and stay safe see you next time bye bye